Hey guys, Kevin here. What I've got here is, well, it's been called the Tourism Tripod, but it's actually the Q666 Tripod, the Devil Tripod. There's a lot of variations of this. It's sold under many different names. It's kind of like an OEM product, but um, there's a carbon version as well, Q666C, which is much more expensive. I believe this is the regular version. This was kindly sent to me by Gearbest, and... If you look on Gearbest, you can see it's been sold at $65. It's about £49 for those of you in the UK. Doesn't give you a lot of information here. You know, it's got the, the length and height and all that. It says the product weight 0.15. I had a quick look on Amazon, and apparently the max load capacity is 15, uh, 15 kilograms. So um, I believe it's going to be good enough for most uh, situations as far as, you know, whether you're recording through a camcorder, DSLR, things like that, it should carry the weight. So let's open the box and we'll see what it's like. Okay. So this is the box and as I said, you will see this sold under many different names. So if you see it, this kind of box with tourism tripod on the side, chances are it's this one. So there is nothing else in there. So just throw this away. Right, so here is the branding, which I, I don't know, where does this even start? I don't even know where that starts, <laughs> you know, as far as the logo, what, what you would call that. Um, I don't know if I'm feeling this army camouflage kind of situation. Um, ugh, no, I don't know if I feel that. I mean, it's good to throw in a case, I guess, but... Um, Strap feels okay. So. Nothing else in there. It's kind of black on the inside. And this is the tripod. And it's actually he heavier than I thought it would be. So. It's got a little accessory kit here, a little pouch. I don't know what that's for. Let me see. You got an Allen key here. And apparently I am VIP. It's got some instructions in there, product manual. There is a little bag down here as well. It covers the top. It looks like a it looks like a golf club now, doesn't it? Like that. So yeah. This is Oh, I'm hitting the microphone. So it's actually quite a fairly big tripod. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll jump over to the main camera. It might be easier to show you here. So it's got this part here protecting the... Um, it's protecting the ball head. It does look like, you know, something you'd put on a, a golf club. It's good to put that in though. Um... Well, those of you who have seen my channel before will be familiar with the ball head because it's actually what's holding up my overhead camera just now. That ball head there is exactly what's on this. Uh, what's actually, exactly, if I can talk, it's exactly what's on this tripod. So this is, I know this is good because this is what I use on my overhead camera here. And, you know, it retails for around £15 or so in the UK. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I've I've been using this for a few years now to hold my overhead camera and it works well. It's fairly light and I think it's, um, yeah, I think it's quite a good little tripod. So I reckon I need to take this off. That come off easily enough. There's a little strap there as well. See that? Um, it looks... Fairly, it looks fairly solid. I think the, the construction looks good. You can see it's it's kind of like the twist off kind. So you can see there, you kind of twist it to lock it like that. Then you twist it back in. So it's the twist kind. So from a portability point of view, um, this can be folded round. If I do it here. And... So this can be folded around. Sorry, the camera's all squinty there. Um, so it can be folded around like that, and then that's how portable it would be. 
like that. Now, if you look at, where is it? One of these legs actually states that it is a monopod as well. Where is it? I believe it's this one. So this one says it is a removable monopod. That's quite cool. So the idea is this leg can come out if you need to use it as a monopod. You can. You could, of course, take off the ball head. So you could take off the ball head and, you know, you could just screw it on here and you've got a monopod. So if you're taking a lot of photos, you know, and you just need a monopod to steady your shot, um, that is, I think I'm turning that the wrong way. That is something that could be very, very useful. So it's a nice little, um, a nice little feature. So I have the tripod up now, close to full height, not exactly full height, but um, it apparently can go up to about 1.58 meters, which is around five foot two or so. Um, the side here, you've got King Zhuang Shai Dai, whoever's branded it. I, I, I'm, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it seems like a, a fairly solid tripod. Um, I mean, this is a $50, $60 tripod, so you have to remember what you get for that money. You know, I've bought tripods at, you know, 10, 20 pounds and they broke, they were garbage. This is in the next level. Uh, it's higher quality, it's got a decent ball head. Um, it's fairly easy to move around and it's pretty flexible. This central column here, now you can slide that all the way down, but you can also you know, put it upside down and you can put your camera underneath if you need to take shots, you know, like that. The the buckles, there's buckles here at the side here as well. And when those are, you know, kind of released, you can extend the leg. So at the moment, like for example, this leg, I can't move it any further. When I push this out, I can then go like that. You know, and this is, you know, how it works with the central column, you know, with all the, the tripod would be outside you know, because a central column can take the photos there. So there's a lot of flexibility with that because, you know, you don't have to just use it like a tripod. You can spread it out kind of like a spider with the legs really spread around. So if you're taking low shots, you know, uh, filming or photos, that kind of thing is going to be very useful. I mean, this goes pretty much all the way to vertical. It is, it's really cool actually the way that it does it. Okay. My other tripods don't do that. So I'm, I'm quite impressed by that. Um, now, as far as, you know, shortening the legs and lengthening the legs that's probably the one part of this that i don't like and um, perhaps just because i'm still getting used to it um it just doesn't seem intuitive so i'll bring these legs up and then we'll jump over to my overhead camera and i'll show you exactly what i mean so i have shortened the tripod again if you look at my hands here though look how red they are this is i would say that Overall, this is a fantastic tripod, but these, the, the actual locking mechanism for the for the legs are probably my biggest annoyance with it. Um, it's definitely something that is frustrating. So I'll, I'll just use one of these legs as an example. So you can see that here that it's like that. Now the problem is, the problem is that these things turn both ways and you get this kind of false sense of security that everything is okay because you turn it there that was okay. So I would need to pull that one. Let me see. Okay, so that goes back in. Tighten up. That one's still going. Now it's kind of like that. You really do need to turn it. Um, right, okay, that's it back in. But what I found was that because these kind of lock both ways, like if I use this one, for example, it kind of goes to there and then locks and it goes to there and then it locks. Now, maybe I'm being stupid. Maybe there is a way, you know, there's a reason why this happens. I don't know, but I do find it a little bit annoying. Maybe I just need more experience with it. Uh, but it's something to bear in mind. This, you know, I have used, a, you know, quite a few tripods in, in the past and I've not had any problems like that before. Maybe just when I get more experience with it, it'll be better. So this part here, this is the part I was talking about with the legs. Now here it's locked. You can see there's kind of like two 
ridges and, and if I zoom in you should be able to see that so there's kind of like two little parts here now this can be pulled out where it is just now that stops and it locks the legs if you pull it out you can then lock it in this part and it will lock the legs there so it's locking there at a different angle that was a uh, different from over here or you can lock it above and that allows you if i come back out that allows you to flip the legs and it, it works really well you know it um i really like that i really like that fact that you can do that it allows you to flip all the legs just by pulling them round and then as you can see i have my gopro upside down so i could do you know a lot of bizarre shots you know i know this is popular in photography that you can set it like that and to reverse it round, you know you can just bend it all the way back round push that in and oh, sorry pull that out there that should bend round and that's it so i like that element of it i like this part here this is kind of like a little fabric part and it means holding it you know it, it feels comfortable now you've got it in those two you don't have it in the monopod the monopod when you take it out if you took off the ball head then you kind of have a makeshift selfie stick in a way you could it could be used that way i know it's not designed to be like that but it could be used like that and this part here the pole the central column goes up and down so it gives you a little bit of flexibility there now i have reviewed this ball head before and I, I really do like it um, it gives you a lot of flexibility so you can see i've got my gopro here got my gopro hero 6 and you can see the ball head is moving around so that allows me to, to you know put pretty much any angle that i want and then i can tighten it up and like now it's not moving this part it's not part of the tripod that's moving um yeah it, it's, it works really well and you can always, you know, obviously you can use a different ball head with that if you're not happy with the tripod. Um, you know, it has an overall plasticky kind of feel to it, which is what you would expect in this price range. But um, I do like this fabric part. I do like that you've got the hook there. You can weigh it down. Um, it's just this part here that, you know, kind of annoys me. So... Overall, for the price, I think that this is a, a really good tripod. And if I sit at my table here, will you see it? So for the price, I think it's a, a you know I think it's pretty decent. Sixty five dollars, around the fifty pounds mark. Um, you get a bizarre camouflage bag. I'm not sure if all versions of it come with that. You get an instruction manual. You get an Allen key. There, there is. If I jump back here, there is here parts here that you can lock up if you want to make things looser or tighter that is an option um you know i love the fact that the legs you know go from well basically any angle they go like all the way 180 degrees all the way up to the top and that allows you to turn the tripod upside down and then you can you know film um you know do kind of up close shots where you put the camera down below rather than above the tripod the ball head you can pick that up separately for like 15 pounds so if you take that into account you know essentially you're getting the the tripod for 30 pounds if you if you take that into consideration and at that price i think it's it's pretty decent now the the tripod world is very competitive there's a lot of them out there and when you spend more money things tend to get either heavier or lighter depending on your needs and you know to get carbon and all that I, it's not something i need you know primarily i'm shooting at home and this is something that I think is going to be very useful for me. I've got my video tripod on just now, which weighs about 50 kilograms. It's very, very heavy. And this is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more portable. And it's quite flexible as well with the legs. So I will be using this a lot. I will be using this uh, and adding it to my equipment. I will be using it a lot. It's not perfect. Uh, as I said, I do like the fabric parts here. I love the fact that you get the monopod. I do like this ball head because I'm using it there. I'm using it already and I do have experience with that. I'm not saying it's the best ball, uh, ball head in the market, but for the, you know, bang for your buck, you know, at £12 to £20, uh, 20 pounds, whatever, you know, whatever price you pick it up at, that ball head is fantastic. It really is one of the best ones for the price. 
Um, but back to the tripod, it has that ball head. It's got the, the quick release plate at the top so I can, you know, just quickly take off my camera and then put it back on. That's always handy so you don't have to screw it in and out all the time. You can just quickly release it and I can bend it down. You know, I can bend this down at any angle that I want. So look, there you go. I've just created an overhead camera. So that's me creating an overhead camera there and I wasn't even trying to. Um, it just shows you, you know, what can be done when you've got a decent tripod with, um, you know, a, a decent ball head. So overall, yeah, I think it's a good tripod. I think at that price range, it is an easy recommendation. I don't think it's the best tripod in the market, but at that price range, I think it's a very, very good tripod. The only thing is the legs, which is a minor annoyance. I wish they used some sort of different mechanism, um, but this is, you know, it's kind of a, a criticism of all these tripods that use the, uh, the twisting. I'm not a big fan of them. I prefer something that locks a little bit more, there's something a little bit more rigid, something a little bit more secure. Um, all in all though, for the price, I think that this is fairly decent. Comes with a, the ball head, comes with, you know, one of the legs as a monopod, you can take it off. You can put the legs in pretty much any angle. And yeah, camouflage ba ba a bag as well, a little pouch with an Allen key. So for the price, you can't, you can't really complain, guys. I think it's good for the price. I wouldn't be paying double, but at this price, I think it is a fairly decent little tripod. So if you look for a little kind of backup tripod or, you know, you're on a budget and you just want something simple, something portable, um, there are lighter tripods out there, but the lighter tripods that are kind of this range tend to be carbon and they tend to be three, four times the price. So bear that in mind when you're looking at a tripod like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave a link to the GearBest uh, sales page so you can check it out. Thanks again to GearBest for sending me the, this tripod to try out. I do appreciate it. It does help me out, and I will get a lot of use out of this. You know, as I now have two overhead cameras. Um, yeah, any questions, please do leave a comment below, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care, guys.